you know, what could you say to uh, to s some of the, the viewers out there that might have seen your imagery or, or not even know it was your imagery, but just said, wow, that is an incredible shot of a boat. Yeah, well, I'm very fortunate to be working in this field because uh, I started off photography and regular commercial work, annual reports, advertising, studio work. And you work with a lot of things in situations where people don't really care that much about the specific subject. But in boating, almost everyone is here because they want to be. And it's a great bunch of people to work with. Very different than a, a typical commercial field. So uh, I get to work with some great people. We get to work with some terrific products and it's always a team effort that uh, we manage to, uh, to pull it off one way or the other. It's, you know, things have their problems and schedules, issues, weather, all kinds of broken boats, stuff happens <laughs> and you just yeah. have to keep powering through it. And when you work with a group of people that, that have been dealing with in the, in the boating and yachting industry, you've got, you've got the best people who just want to solve the problem and, and keep it moving. Yep. So, that's what we're dealing with every day. Well, and I know that uh, a lot of people from the outside looking in, they're like, especially the Instagram world and stuff, Lisa, right? When you oh, yeah. see it and you see such a beautiful image, you're like, man, that be, must be the best job in the world. You're just going to all these places. But it's a ton of work behind all those great images, right? I mean, could you talk a little bit about what it takes to get some of this content? Uh, it's a ton of work. It's Planning is key. Uh, when you're getting into a project, you've really got to understand what the point is of it. It's not just pretty pictures and they don't just fall into your camera. So <laughs> you've got to figure out locations, time of day to shoot it, watching weather as you're planning these things. We've had we've had big shoots, very involved setups cancel just because the weather just didn't pan out the way the forecasts were. Mm -hmm. yeah, you just have to figure out how to deal with these contingencies. So it, it is really a group effort and uh, and you just got to work on it from a lot of different angles. Be sure that you can get what you need. You have the options, you have backup when you need it. Yep. Uh, it, it. The end result is the simple little thing that you see at the end. That's the result of a tremendous amount of work on the part of a lot of people. Right. Well said. Yeah, very well said. So, I mean, I, I know that there are people aspiring to be like you. Um, give us a little bit of your background. How did you get into photography and, and more specifically marine photography? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I would have got out of the service. <laughs> I went uh, back to school in the GI Bill to photography school in Boston and uh, was very quickly working in, in the advertising world with a, a terrific photographer and as an assistant and did that for a couple of years. And that went on for maybe 10 years and you get pretty burned out in that, yeah. in that area. Um, you wanna make money in photography, go into advertising or shoot weddings because that's where the money is. But uh, after, after 10 years of that, I was looking for some way to really start to enjoy and rekindle the, 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 that enjoyment that I originally had in photography. And met some friends, heard about the charter industry, knew nothing about it. Two weeks later, we're on a plane to the Virgin Islands, and I'm introduced to a charter boat show and how great that was. And just mm -hmm. like, this is a business. Yeah. So, you know, again, from the outside, it all seems like nothing but fun and games. Um, but chartering <laughs> is very difficult as well. So, anyway, I got to meet a bunch of captains and brokers and just really liked the environment. And within two years, I was out of the advertising, sold the studio and was pretty much shooting boats, resorts, and that sort of thing. Small camera work, location work, yeah. and then getting into uh, shooting and writing uh, on some travel situations. So it's it's been great, Not never look back. Smart move. <laughs> and, and like you said, you know, you never look back. You, you're going where your passion is, and that's uh, to, I'm sure, to travel, to, to be with the, uh, be on the water all the time and be with these amazing boats. I mean, it's just such a cool yeah. experience. It, it, it really is, and again, very fortunate to be working in this field. And we've got we've got stuff from little tiny boat shooting tenders that are 12 feet long with an outboard yeah. to 300 plus foot yachts and interiors and shoots take a week just to get through one boat um, and wow. everything in between. So there's the other thing I love about this industry is that there's tremendous variety available. Um, mm -hmm. We shoot and, and a lot of the studio work that we had done in the past 
comes back around full circle in this because we're not only shooting the boat and an exterior shot in a beautiful location, but we've got interiors to do. So there's architecture, there are right. details, there's, there's food, lifestyle. Right. Yeah. All the things that go in, there's a lot of different disciplines in there that you've got to deal with when you're working in this industry. Uh, and some of it's set up with models and, you know, it's very planned. Others, it's just you're grabbing it as you go in documentary right. style and, and everything in between. So I love that variety mm -hmm. and uh, the challenge. Mm -hmm.